Good morning my stitchy friends. Welcome to my channel Stitcherella. This is my third video of this morning. I have to go 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 because load shedding is up to stage 5 and it's horrible. Now today is Stitch Along Wednesday Stitch Whatever You Want. I decided to carry on with Jellyfish Girl. Just want to get this stuff ready here. Uh, how are you guys this morning? I haven't slept the day before yesterday a lot. A few hours. What's wrong here? I, and now last night again. But I had quite a story here last night. The kids went back to school today. I was, I was uh, cross-stitching, I worked a bit on my Alice and I hear the three little dogs outside, they go rrr, rrr, and they carry on and I thought, oh, something is wrong and as I sit with that thought, I hear something kick my dog. I freak out, I wake my husband up. So clearly someone was in my yard last night, that is a very scary thing. What a very normal thing in South Africa. We, we do get robbed and mugged and it's not funny. So there I'm up again. Now I decided, okay, let's switch the light off. Let's try and sleep. Now we are, I think it was at 12. And it's not even half an hour after I fell asleep. I started coughing. I don't know why and I'm awake. And I promise you, I just couldn't fall asleep again. I didn't get up to do something. I just lied there, rolling around till 10 past 4 this morning. So one of these days, I'm going to be a walking, talking zombie. Yeah, it's horrible. But in any way, I'm talking to you, so I'm very happy. I did two unboxings this morning. The 18 count galaxy cat and I did uh, one of my friends Marlene's uh, red egg girl and my galaxy girl. Now I spoke to one of my friends yesterday about topics we can discuss and she asked me to talk about animals we have in South Africa. Uh, she goes by Thread Maiden and They've got like bears running around and snow and stuff. I, I wish, but I promise you, if I wake up and see a bear, I don't think I'll clean my pants again. I know it eats me. But on that topic, um, in South Africa, we've got a lot of animals. I'm going to discuss a few of you, but it's not like people think the the rhinos and the lions and the buffaloes run run free, they don't. They in secluded areas and wild parks, we've got a big park that everyone can visit, that's a Kruger National Park, it's huge. It's massive. And they, all those type of animals are on wild farms, game farms and wild farms and they in areas that's protected and closed off. So no, they don't run wild in between us. No, 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 they don't. Funny story with that is, I'm going to have a good chuckle now. Um, tigers are not a South African thing. So we don't, we get them in zoos and I think that's cruel. I also think it's cruel to have a tiger as a pet. Now all the show-offs in South Africa, they... They want to show off. They've got a lot of money. I love a tiger. It's my favorite animal, wild animal, like I've said before. Now they've got them as pets. In the last two months, I kid you not, and we are here inland, in between the houses, two separate occasions, two different tigers got loose. So it was on the news. Everyone was away. The one actually got loose. So a free tiger running between the houses, eating whatever it wants. So they actually shot that tiger. 
it's very very sad if people didn't keep it in captivity or as a pet or whatever it's not supposed to be a pet it wouldn't have died but the tiger did attack someone so they had to kill it and the second one i don't even know if they caught it i just know every nook and cranny where, where you go and it's here in our city i went i looked for wild tigers that's not even all uh after that it this happened in the last three months i kid you not it's very funny we get the message we must be aware a line got loose and i'm like oh my gosh what's next and it's yet by me it's a kilo two kilos from me where where this happens so everyone was tracking this lion I think they did find him and he's alive it uh, he got loose because i think someone broke in and they left the cages open they got out but imagine that you walking down and a bloody line bite you on the bum that won't be funny so we were all in our on high alert with this bloody loose lion and tigers so yeah, tigers you don't get here, we, we, we import them, they are pets for the rich that wants to show off, I don't think they should be pets. Lions, we've got plenty of those here, but they are, they are in parks and, and, and safe areas. We've got the famous rhino, and then with rhinos comes a lot of problems, because they are... On the edge of extinction endangered because people kill them for their horns uh, we've got poachers so yes we've got we've got the rhino you can see them in all the parks you can go on safaris and go and look at them but they do get killed for their ivory horns that's that's also very very sad not funny at all um, which one's next? Which can we? Which one is nice? Oh, we've got the giraffes. They actually humongous. If you go and look at giraffes, they uh, they like to eat with the neck, so it's dangerous to go near it. If you live in a distance where they can eat you with the neck, they just have to eat you once you're dead. It's extremely powerful. That is how uh, giraffes fight. The male giraffes get their territory and their wives <laughs> they fight with their necks uh, the animal that kills the most most people in South Africa is the hippo the hippopotamus now a hippopotamus is in water and they are kept in box but they're also loose so you can find hippos anywhere and they're very dangerous you think you swim and then then your hippo food so they are very dangerous we've got the crocodiles of course a crocodile is dangerous i stayed in a little city called Riches bay it was by the coast the crocodiles are everywhere you still think you're driving somewhere and there goes a crocodile over the road so they are very dangerous we've got the villabies we've got bucks uh Sure, it's, 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 I'm thinking of what else, oh, snakes, everyone's got snakes, but we've got the, um, it is life-threatening, they, they kill you, we've got the spitting Mozambican cobra, and we've got the boomslang, and we got the, what's a scarf sticker, um, what's that snake's name, it spits you as well, not funny it's not the spitting cobra there's another one i'll think of the name now, now and then i'll tell you i'm thinking uh, wrinkles yeah thank you my husband said uh, wrinkles i think we call them scop stickers in afrikaans a scop sticker it's a wrinkles that thing kills you it is extremely dangerous and you know what's sad about the the snake situation they everywhere first of all and with our load shedding, the power outages, it's everywhere in the papers, it's everywhere. we've got a shortage of antivenom. They can't produce enough because 
we don't have power for long enough so they can actually produce this stuff that we need sorry about this i'm just pulling everything right here yeah so that is a very very scary situation to be in if a snake bites you and they don't have anti-venom and it is deadly the, those snakes are deadly they they can kill you it's horrible i'm thinking of what else to t to tell you about our animals it was live oh we've got cheetahs um a lot of cheetahs uh, villapias, rhinos, hippopotamus. We've got the great buffaloes. I don't know if you guys have buffaloes. We've got buffaloes. It's part of the big five in South Africa. Is a, a buffalo. Uh, the lion, the buffalo. Hmm. I can't. I I can't remember all of the elephant. We've got elephants. They are the cutest things, but they're humongous. We got elephants, yeah. But I, I know they've got in other parts of the world they've got elephants. I have seen other elephants, but our ele elephants are humongous. We got huge elephants. We've got an elephant park as well. They are protected, the uh, Addo Elephant Park. But they in the Kruger, they everywhere. And they are big. And then last night my friend said you got uh, they got rabbits. We don't have rabbits. We got bunnies, and it's different. And we don't eat them. You know, I've seen on TV. I don't know if that's true. People make some bunny pie, rabbit pie. What do you call it? Yeah, we don't eat our bunnies. That, that's just rude. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> no, we don't eat them. Uh, what we do eat of the wild animals, but I don't like the taste of it, is you have to have a permit, then you can go hunting, and you can hunt buck, bullabies. So we've got a lot of different bucks. We've got the springbok as well. You can eat those, but I don't like the taste of them. They taste funny. Um, we've got ostriches. They are like, I am 1.8 meters tall. They taller than me. They are big birds. Ostriches are huge. So we've got that. I'm thinking of what interesting we've got as well. Can you think of something, Mike, that that I'm missing here? The whole, the whole. No, so. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's leopards. like the big things. I've, I've said leopards. We've got, oh, cheetahs and leopards. We've got leopards, yeah. cheetahs. Um, I'm thinking of some of, of other things. Oh, we don't have bears. We do have bears here in zoos, which is, yeah. which is, it's sad, but it's not, it's not, they imported them just to show us what bears are like. So no, we don't have bears like, like my friend. Um, showed me photos of we don't have those we've got um, yeah we've got hyenas it's wild dogs they're terrible um, they're terrible they're ugly and they are harsh they are not as big but they scavenge they they eat everything that the bigger animals kill they go and eat we've got before I forget um, uh, now I'm talking about now uh, the only bird I would mention, we've got lots of birds, but everyone's got birds. Can compare that, but we've got Aranda. What is Aranda in English? Sorry? Eagles. Yes, we've got the most amazing eagles in the world. So we've got a lot of eagles. Big ones, enough to grab your puppy and go. So we've got big eagles. They, may, they sing the nicest songs. They make the most amazing noises. So that is a... Um, I must think more about what else because... And of course, we've got our ocean life and everyone's got those. But those, some of those are very unique to South Africa. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, you see, there's steam coming out of my head to think what else we've got. And we've got the normal things, like, okay, so we've got a lot of breed of dogs, and, and I've seen overseas, there's other breeds of dogs, it's not the same. Cats, we've got them all, yeah, and we've got the overseas breeds as well, but you pay a pretty penny to get them. And, yeah... It's for us not legal to have any. We've got monkeys and gorillas, stuff like that, but it's not legal to keep them. There's a certain small monkey you need permits for. Turtles you also need permits for. Keep them in your yard. And that's about it that I can rem remember. If I think of something else, I will say, oh, 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 I remember. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember what this is, but I can't, I can't get the English name. What's a Krimfarki? Mike? Hedgehog? Yeah, we've got hedgehogs. A Krimfarki is that little thing with that pins on its back. Pins, you get miniature ones that you can keep, eh? Porcupines. Yes, we've got porcupines, that, and we've got big wild ones, and then you get baby miniature ones you're allowed to keep as a pet. We've got those. They are super, super duper cute. We do have foxes. Jackals. Um, jackals. We do not have wolves. My friend told me wolves are extremely dangerous. But I think they, that they, they are as dangerous like our jaguars, our leopards, our lions. Our oh, hyenas. Our hyenas not something you play with and it's ugly. It looks like its back is broken. I don't know, go Google hyena, hey ugly things, oh skinny. Ugh, no, I made a knot here. So yeah, South Africa has, has got a rich variety of animals, wild and and tamed. It's, there's there's a lot. And you can keep you can keep your house animals, it's basically cats, dogs, birds. Porcupines, there's certain types of monkeys, not apes and baboons and gorillas, you can't do that. Um, it is legal to keep a tiger as a pet, which is stupid. Just look what's happening to that. And yeah, we've got horses, donkeys, cows, that's the plain thing, sheep. All the basic things that everyone's got, we've got those too. But in any way, oh, you guys must tell me, go to my Facebook page, Stitcher, Ra, Last Time Cross Stitch Group, and go and tell me about your country. Send me some photos. I would love to see it. I like seeing how other people live. My favorite place is the ocean, so I would like to stay there. But in South Africa, the money is not at the ocean. If you work and... You get paid better in the bigger cities, and that's why we stay in one. The money is just better, but one day I'll stay at the ocean again, because that's where I want to stay. I can hear all the birds. Now, this morning, if you see a purple thing flying around, it's my gown. I'm cold. We woke up and it was freezing. I felt so sorry for the kids, because it's the first morning it is cold it's very very cold the poor kids i said to my son because we've got school rules uh you can't wear winter's attire before the school doesn't give you permission they tell you okay from this date you're allowed to wear winter's clothes my son begged me he was freezing and i said okay okay um just remember they haven't said you're allowed to wear it yet, but wear it it's cold and my daughter, I said, you too. She's like, no, she's going to wait till they tell her to. And she's out of this house of a dress. And it's, it's really cold. I felt so sorry for them. But we all went through that. They won't die. They're strong. But a mommy's heart breaks when, when she knows they're cold and it's not nice. And they've got jerseys and everything on, of course. But yeah, that's life. We all went through it.
I've got a few more unboxings to do to do I'm spacing them out and you guys don't understand you actually do because you get to know me on my videos you know I'm so excited to unbox the rest but I must space the videos a bit I can't post everything on one day and my hands are itchy I just want to make them and post them and then I my little voice in my head tells me no 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 patience of which I've got none but in any way oh what are you guys up to like you can see I'm just stitching away I will post a picture of this jellyfish girl she should have been finished but I'm entertaining my stitchy friends so I'm stitching a lot of things um, she should have been finished by now but she's not but I'm stitching a lot of other ones I must tell you on this one I'm busy with now I finished the big block stitching on the sides that big blue parts and stuff but I will open it up and show you after the the video I will show you how far I am and like you see this canvas has been worked properly so it's um what do you call it pop soft yeah it's very very soft Afrikaans it's pop <laughs> it's sach Afrikaans soft soft is sach or the thing is pop <laughs> see this this thinking of mine so Sorry, sometimes I say some Afrikaans things, then I realize it, and I'm like, oops, think, 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 think. My brain goes in overdrive. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I must tell you this. This cat, the Galaxy cat, I opened this morning. The 18 count one, it is so beautiful. I'm so in love with that cat. I love cats. Now yesterday paint some way posted two more that goes with that set. Uh. <laughs> so up and in the basket they go. Ay ay ay. I've, I, it's just beautiful. And I've got the new 16 count. There's like cloudy houses. It's like houses in the clouds with clouds and it's just very cloudy. But you must go and have a look or just message me on my Facebook page and I'll show you. I'm so excited about tomorrow's stitch along. We're starting the 16 count stitch along tomorrow. And every Friday I will stitch whatever I've got. You can start your 9 count if you want. I do not have a 9 count yet. Otherwise I would have grabbed it and do it. But I don't. One day when mine is here... I will work on mine on Fridays but you're yeah. welcome to so long work on yours on Fridays or just wait for me but do whatever makes you happy after this video I want to get it ready upload do whatever I need to do to it so you can watch it I'm going to try and take a nap but I can't carry on like this got rings under my eyes it's just a trouble sleeping but now the problem is I don't sleep because I can't sleep and then like now when I'm done if I've got time for a little nap or something I don't I can't I can't because I want to cross stitch addiction is a bad thing <laughs> cross stitch addiction Hello, my name is Sanet. I'm addicted to cross stitch. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a friend, her name is Leslie. She also stitch as fast as me. We joked about this. Hello, I'm Sanet. I'm an addict. A cross stitch addict. <laughs> we joked about that. Because if this uh, in Afrikaans, I don't know what how to translate it um, I'm gonna ask my husband but in Afrikaans you say as the hoha bite um, it means when babe you know when you start something and you love it so much and you get really into it in Afrikaans you call it 
as the Chorah Bait. What do you call it in English? I can't translate that in English. Hi? Is it is it that? So it's if the bugs no, he doesn't that doesn't sound right. But basically if I translate it it's like uh, when the bug bugs bitten you or something like that, I don't know. And it has bitten me properly because I just since I started doing that stamp cross stitch, I just can't stop. The counted not so much. I did enjoy it, but but what happens is I like to talk and do other things and listen to other things and watch TV and do this while I cross stitch. But with counted, I couldn't do that. And then I discovered stamp cross stitch. What a blessing in disguise. Oh, so this girly must finish. I don't have much. I'm not going to do any more new starts. But for the 9 count and the 16 count. I've got a lot going. So I'm going to work. Get it work on what I've got. I might. Not sure. I'll show you the other Alice I got. But that unboxing. I'll wait. Um. I might, my Alice, it depends, because it is big, it's almost a meter long, I will rotate it with another Alice. I'll see how that goes. She's quite confetti that spaces, but I will show you in good time. Must not do everything in such a haste. There we go. Trying to think about what animal I wanted to tell you about something and I forgot. I think about a hundred times, a hundred things at a time, and when I do that, I miss half of it. That's but it's problematic. <laughs> I take a sip of my coffee. Excuse me. Do you also love coffee and tea so much? I love tea after three in the afternoon. Coffee before it and then tea. My lovely husband, he's got his office here at home, so it's very rarely, rarely, how do you say that? Rarely that I make my own coffee or tea. He makes me coffee and tea. Uh, yes, please. Haha, <laughs> you can hear me. He's like, Are you skipping? I'm like, Yes, please. That means I'm getting fresh coffee. Yay. Oh, that dog is... I'm just... You know what? I, I almost complained, but... It's actually wrong of me. So I almost said, Oh, that dog keeps barking. But last night, it was a good thing. And I'm just glad the dogs are okay. Because I could clearly hear how my dog got kicked. And cried. So... Scary, scary, but it's not the first time, so. Living in South Africa, what a joy. And we've got such a lovely country, lovely beaches. But it's getting ruined. Not safe at all. Empty this one off. I don't really do a lot of cutting. I do the cutting afterwards. But I'm so comfy just sitting here chatting doing this. But I'm gonna have to cut now because I made a boo here. Boo boo. Okay. Done. Okay. Let's load another one. I'm gonna do one more. Ah, I want to go and see what I can watch on TV. That's like yesterday and the day before. I can just not find anything. And it's so boring because I need that background. Um, the background noise or something to listen to. Maybe is there someone at the gate because the dogs are really going crazy. Uh, my dogs are going insane. They're like barking and carrying on. But it's the garbage collectors that's here. 
So my little miniature features wants to eat them up. But they can't get out. I've got a big steel gate, so they can't get out. But they can see underneath, so they turn into lions and they've got hearts of lions. Those three. That's why it upsets me when someone hurts them. They're big alarms. They're huge alarms. But, well. sitting thinking of my children I think the first thing they, they're going to say when they get into our, uh, the house today is we don't have homework because <laughs> if they've got homework they can't play playstation they can but the homework must be done <coughs> so sometimes they hide it from me they're children naughty naughty Deep in thought, yeah. You know, I can't believe the time is flying past. I'm actually thinking about the time. It's already Wednesday. I can't believe we're almost done with the week again. You get up, you start with the week, and it's over. I know it was Easter, but still, it, it goes like this every week. It's not something different. It just goes faster, faster and faster do all of you stay where it snows does it snow anywhere or everywhere where you are but us it doesn't snow in between the houses it snows on top of our mountains and that's it so we're not used to the cold you used to but for us this is cold i had a good laugh from my friend she said no she does not know why they they make pictures with bears and snow and stuff because they hibernate when when it snows and i thought about it and it's actually true i just never saw it like that because we don't live with bears and i never had to really think about it the pictures look pretty but you don't really think about that I had someone ask me about <laughs> exactly about the lions and, and all the wild animals. I said to them, no, South Africa is a widely developed um, country with lots of cities and buildings and a shopping mall around every corner. No, they probably thought we live like Tarzan and Jane in the jungle. But no, it's not like that. It's a jungle between people because we've got a lot of corruption, break-ins, there's poverty. So we live dangerously. The people are more dangerous than the animals. There's no danger from the animals, it's the people and the corrupt government. But we won't go into politics. I just had to mention that. It's ridiculous. And you know, this power outages, you know how funny this is. It's not funny, it's actually, it makes me angry, but when you think about it, it's laughable. Where can your electricity bill go up when you don't have power? Now this is what's happening to us in South Africa. We get high electricity bills, but we almost never have power. And I know, no, that's correct. You can't do anything about it, otherwise they cut it permanently. And when there's not power and your bill is supposed to be lower, it's still higher. Higher, higher, higher. Pants on fire. And you can't say nothing. You must just pay up. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Never have power, but you still pay for the service. It's crazy. Petrol price, our food prices, it's it's ridiculous. It's everything is just and our rand is weak against the pound and the dollar and the euro. I import all my things, so I know. Uh, it's very weak. Um we for us and we earn in rands, so 
when we buy something in, in pounds or dollars it is a lot it's really a lot it's expensive well and i've seen i've been all around the world i've been to europe i've been to uk i've been to thailand i've been to it's I, everywhere i've been all around and um I love overseas, I love the countries, I'm sorry UK but I don't like the weather, I like sunny weather and, and very, very, that's very, yeah I like sunny weather so our spaces we live in is huge, our houses are huge, our gardens are huge, we've got a lot of space, South Africa is an extremely beautiful country, it just got messed up. So, yeah, I love my country. I don't think I will stay here forever. My husband is Australian, so by the way, my Australian watches. Yeah, my husband is Australian. For me to go to Australia is, is a very big possibility. Um, I'm South African, he's Australian. Yeah, but we'll see how things go. Because I am very scared and a lot of people will disagree with me. But I kid you not, this country of ours are busy going the same route as Zimbabwe. That's horrible. That is disastrous. But we also have a very um yeah, I don't know, people people are funny here. The booze are getting killed food's getting less it's just you know it's not all bad we love i love my country i love i love it. it's not all bad but it it is becoming ridiculous but enough about that that's a bit hectic i'm sure you don't want to hear that i still wonder who was in my yard last night it's probably someone that tried to break in or wanted to try and break in but i made such a racket I scared them even if I was scared but I made a racket put the lights on get it on like a crazy woman so they know hey I know you yeah waiting for you I've heard you I hate that and so I'm on my third string of floss And we are going strong. I'm not going to make a full hour of this one. It's my third video. So there's lots of things to watch. And listen. Are you also excited for the 16 count Thursdays? I am very. Of course you can stitch what you want. You can watch whatever. You can do whatever you want. Even if you sti stitch the same project in all the stitch along, that's also good. But I'm just looking forward to start that new one. They've got a thing here in South Africa now. Um, it's on the news this morning again. Excuse me. Uh, Mike, that dogs that's killing the people, pit bulls. Oh. They wanted to ban pit bulls in South Africa. Uh, but, you know, it's the way they grow up. But a friendly pit bull can turn around and become, become angry like any other animal. So I don't like animals getting put down. And so they wanted to ban them because the pit bulls are killing a lot of people in South Africa. I'm neutral about this, so don't think I say yay or nay. No, I'm just telling you what is going on in South Africa. Now, there is... This morning in the news, I want to go and read properly what's going on there. They want to deploy a whole team of people checking the pit bulls, checking what they're being kept for. It's it's all... It's not like our SPCA. That's the um, Animal Protection Center. It's not that it's the police and the government because of the killings the pit 
pitbulls are killing a lot of people. But the, I also think that the pitbulls are getting provoked. They actually... What? They're ready for fights. Yeah, no, I'm getting there, so relax. <laughs> My husband's getting there before me. Okay, so um, they breed them for fighting. And they get trained to kill. So it's a big problem that. And lots of people have got lovely dogs. Lovely dogs. Nothing wrong with it. So that's an ongoing saga here by us as well. The biggest problem by us is government and the electricity. Promise you, that is the biggest problem in South Africa. And if you've been here, you know it's a lovely place. It's we've got a lovely country, open spaces. It's just getting destroyed. People that's incompetent. But in any way, let me get off that again. I keep going there. <laughs> oh my lordy lord but in any way and this is quite going with some it's going well with jellyfish girl but it's time that I finish her when I'm done with her I'm also I'll finish and then I'll show you again because people are asking me how to wash how to do this I've got two videos up my first video is aren't as good but you can see I started there my channel is now two months old I have improved all videos a lot so I've got two wash videos already what I do when I wash it takes five minutes I wash it in warm water washing powder but I've got a video up I'm gonna do this one as well and I iron it wet because I do not like it when you see that crinkly crinkly uh, Ada when you frame it it does not look neat People, you can iron that thing out. Why not? Why frame it when it's crinkly? No. But that's an opinion, so please don't hang me for it. I just don't. It needs to be straight. Come on. Don't be scared to iron it. It won't melt. Yeah, my stitchy friends. Thank you for joining me this morning. I love chatting to you. I hope I didn't bore you too much with all my blah 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 this morning. Uh, you must have a wonderful, excellent day. Love you lots. Stitcherella.